Hey guys, Tony George, DocSports.com. No podcast today, no podcast this week. We're going to give you a long-winded update today with count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight free leans in college basketball. Something different. You're going to walk a mile in my shoes today. Um, today is a big day. Uh, only a doubleheader in college basketball. Um, Five-unit top play, hidden gem game of the month. Along with a two-unit Small conference playing in the West Coast Conference. Hidden gem means small conference, not, not a Power 5 conference. Hidden gem, take the books money, period. I don't give a rat's ass. It's been hit and miss all week long in college basketball. One and two night last night. Could have easily been three and oh. Northern Iowa by a half a point. Take seven and a half. They lost by eight. One and one split in the NBA. So, so night, losing night. Unit-wise, lost some units last time, about a unit, unit and a half, whatever, a couple units. Put that aside. <coughs> right here, right now. Join me. I have two dimes, personally, on this game at Stations Casino. Bet it last night about midnight. One thing about this job, may think you live the lifestyle doing this. You know, this is just easy, and you're out in Vegas, and you get your stuff done, you're down at the strip, you're partying, you're, you're at the Rhino, tossing out hundreds, you know, it's just, it's automatic fun. Every night's a Saturday night. No, this is a 14 to 16 hour a day grind, seven freaking days a week. But you put out plays and you start worrying about them three hours later. Are they going to win? Are they going to lose? Are you going to study box scores at night? So we had 10 games today. We took two. Uh, myself, a professional better and a professional odds maker, who I talk to on a daily basis, daily basis, in-depth conversations, sometimes at night, sometimes three times a day, about what's going on, where the angle's at. And unfortunately, once we put our plays out, we can't do half timelines here and you know other things. But at the end of the day, I'm going to give you the eight of the 10 games that we talked about. Maybe you can flat bet them down the board. And I'll give you my best bet out of those eight. Okay. The two best plays are on this doubleheader card night, including a top play, and I am not effing around. NBA, three-unit TNT best bet. Lost with Philly last night by two points, one with Atlanta. They killed them as an underdog. Um, so we dropped a couple units there. Still a nice run in the NBA. I'll make it up tonight. Lakers, T-Wolves, TNT. Bank it. Let's go ahead and get to your free plays. That's why you're here. Shitty call on Ohio State last night. I guess we just start fading them. They're no good. They're absolutely no good because Purdue's not that good. Uh, not as good as they looked last night, but Ohio State so bad they made them look good. It was back call. Back call. Okay? So if you wanted to, if you were a $100 player and you wanted to throw around some money tonight and you wanted to go with a high volume approach, Tony, why do you go low volume? Well, because less is more. There are guys over at the website and guys elsewhere that put out a lot of plays every day. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. Never have been, never will be. But if you wanted, if you're a hundred dollar player and you wanted to bet twenty dollars each right down the board on these games, or if you're a thousand dollar player and you wanted to bet two hundred dollars each on these games on a flat bet basis, I'm gonna give them to you. These are the games we passed on, and I can't tell you how many times because it doesn't make a difference. We'll have five or six or seven plays. We'll take one or two, and we'll go one and one or 0 oh and two or one and three or maybe two and one with the plays we took, and the other ones will go five and up. Nonstop happens all the time. So I thought I'd share my castaways. Here were the games that, uh, especially my Vegas Sharp, like, and he bet all of them. Here they are in sequence. Then I'll give you my best bet at the end. Write them down. Stanford, minus two and a half. We passed on it. Cal, plus seven. Ugly, ugly underdog. Passed on it. Santa Clara, ugly underdog. Plus 21 and a half. They're playing Gonzaga. They are playing them at home. UCLA, minus one. Arizona in a pick -em. USC, they should be laying three or four. That line, if it looks like a dog turd and smells like a dog turd, it is a dog turd. What? Pick them. USC's terrible. BYU plus one and a half. NC State uh, taking on Louisville plus five and a half. And my best bet of the day, 
both spread and money lines, Washington plus two and a half and money line plus 125. I'll tell you why. Again, Stanford, Cal, Santa Clara, UCLA, Arizona, BYU, NC State, Washington. Okay. Washington 5-0 and against spread their last five. Noel, Green, Dickerson, all studs, all averaging double digits. Dickerson's a beast on the board, and Oregon didn't have jack crap this year. They just got beat by Arizona State and Bobby Hurley by 14 points. Dana Altman does not have the type of team he's had in years past. This is a down year for the Ducks, and I know they're at home, but they're also 2-5-1 and one against the spread their last eight against Pac-12 opponents. I like uh, Washington here. They're 5-2 and two their last seven on the road. Uh, they got a lot more scoring options than what Oregon has. Um, they're plus two and a half. They shouldn't be. They should be at least a two and a half point favorite here. I'll put uh, a big, a bigger play on plus two and a half on Washington, and I'll put a smaller play on Washington on the money line plus one twenty five. I gave you the other eight or seven or eight that we had. Have fun with it. Do my job. Walk a mile in my shoes. Go through each one of those games. And handicap each one of those games, about an hour each to figure it out. And that's what it takes in this business. But nonetheless, I'm giving you the ones that we pass on. And those games were handicapped. So I did the legwork for you. That's what we passed on. We got the best two tonight, DocSports.com, NBA winner. Watch the late game. Can the Lakers win without ball? James? Rondo? Rondo's 50-50. He's not going to play. Against T-Wolves? Hmm. I know. Come over and get it. Enjoy your TNT winner as well.